first of all, it was exciting just to be back with uh, everybody from the first movie, you know, to work with John C. again and and record with him. And um, it's such a special experience and with Phil and uh, Rich and, and Clark and Doc and everybody uh, and Pam and everyone who works there. And um, it's just such, it's so collaborative. And then I just, the story, just like with the first one, um, I mean, this one is completely different. But like the first one, um, the script was great. And then it just became richer and more detailed and more layered and until it's just, it totally blows our minds, you know, how special. Um, they really care so much about the story, about um, the, not just the plot, but all the, all the little pieces that make it extra special and that resonate with, as corny as it sounds, people of every age, you know. There's just something with Vanellope that she's just missing something. And then that becomes kind of physicalized. You know, she's missing a steering wheel from her game and she can't play anymore. And that becomes a, a complete existential crisis. You know, who am I if I'm not a racer? And, um, and so they decide to go into the internet and explore this vast, insane kind of as endless as the universe itself, you know, um, expanse that that uh, changes both of them forever. Taraji P. Henson plays Yes, and she kind of is in charge of, she understands the internet. She knows how to manipulate it, how to get what you want out of it, and teaches us how to make a viral video, and we make a viral video with, with Ralph, and, uh, and we are able to make money that way. But um, with the good of that also, there's also downsides to it. So Shank is played by Gal Gadot, and uh, she is um, the leader of a game on the internet called Slaughter Race. And it's a racing game, which is thrilling to Vanellope, but it's very hardcore. And, uh, you know, it's kind of akin to uh, other games you have you may know in real life. And um, she really becomes Vanellope's new uh, mentor. And maybe that's threatening to Ralph. I don't want to give too much away. But um, Vanellope really looks up to her, and she takes Vanellope under her wing a bit. I couldn't believe that, you know, the the powers that be at Disney really kind of allowed us, allowed the the writers and the directors and to to have this scene that has every Disney princess in it, um, with all the original voices and um and you know, it really is it really is a um a nod to progress, you know, um, even just in a in a meta way, you see how the princesses over time have been become um, more inclusive and uh, including, you know, more of the um, people that that exist in this world. We've got Rich and Phil. Um, and they work great together. You know, we worked with both of them last time as well and in slightly different capacities. And um, they just really are, are brilliant collaborators, writers, directors, writer, and um, they, they both together have brought like such nuance and joy and emotion and it just makes what we do so easy, so fun. And, and really, you know, <laughs> it, the recording sessions were so joyful. And um, we, I, I, dare I say, I think I speak for all of us, that we just really love each other. We've been through a lot of times. You know, it's a many, many hours. And, um, you know, John and I just come in for the recording sessions, and to us it seems like many, many hours. It's it's many, many more hours for them. And um, 
I just, you know, it's kind of, um, it's just a very special relationship that we all have. And, you know, when we finished recording, John wrote us all a, an email that just, I mean, brought tears to my eyes. It was so beautiful. But just, you know, really kind of like friendships for life.